Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Look at that graphic pop up there. Great way to support the show is go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood where you can sit, submit articles like Faye Edelstein has done. She's been trying, she's submitted several times, we've talked about this, about 5G. This article, uh, five, how 5G and the IoT will be used to control people through social credit system as it is used in China today. We're going to get into it. This, this, this um, David Bowes, this journalist, uh, she's turned me on to him, and I'm going to put his his link for the article in there. It's very lengthy. I suggest you you read it. He made a documentary about 5G and everything, and he's he's uh, done a lot of work on this. So last month, um, Faye sent an article discussing the enormous energy consumption that the 5G network requires, and I did that video. Um, it came out, I think it was in January, and you're seeing the power draw of it, which is a climate issue, right? So this is an important argument in the face of the Nash rationale for the 5G rollout, as 5G will create a massive new demand for energy, along with an insane amount of built infrastructure, mass every 3,000 feet, along with resources, materials, manufacturing, and transportation to build it. So I'm going to just show you the first, um, this, this documentary, uh, The 5G Trojan Horse, is by Derek Broze, B-R-O-Z-E, excuse me, Derek, I call him David, The 5G Trojan Horse, um, but I want to show you this because it is pretty impressive, the amount, well, it's, it's kind of scary, but it also shows the amount of work that this guy's done. Hi, my name's Derek Broze. For the last eight years, I've worked as a freelance investigative journalist based in Houston, Texas. Since 2012, I've covered a wide range of topics from indigenous resistance at Standing Rock to corporate Standing government Rock. surveillance to covering important trials like Chelsea Manning's sentencing and the Silk Road trial. Throughout Chelsea this time, Manning. I've realized that choosing to investigate certain topics will often get you labeled as a conspiracy theorist or at the very least, a proponent of less than credible journalism, AKA fake news. One of these forbidden topics relates to the potential harm caused by cell phones and other digital technology. Over the years, I've seen articles discussing the dangers of radio frequency radiation and electromagnetic fields. Again, I noticed that these studies never made the mainstream headlines or the 24-hour cable news cycle. And even if the news had reported on this information, would it have made a difference? I, like millions of other people... So what are he saying there, and I just wanted to show you the beginning of that and really... Ended on a the world never gave a second thought that cell phones and laptops could be causing harm to human health. So he's talking about how there's all these studies showing electromagnetism and cell phones and laptops and then 5G cause human, uh, they cause, they're causing health risks, but it never really makes it to the mainstream media. They'll just sort of cover it briefly. Well, we know why. They buy a crazy amount of ad money. You watch any, I mean, you watch any corporate media, any mainstream media, anything, and you're gonna see ads from Verizon and Sprint and the new 5G rollout and isn't everything amazing and check this out and check that out. No, it's great. And, and one of the things he talks about, and he's very obvious, he's like, I didn't think much of it because we all just go, oh, this phone's cool. Look, it does this and this and this. And the more I'm uncovering this, and it's mainly because of, Faye uh, Edelstein and other people who, who, who submit articles, that's the thing I like about this show, is you guys turn me on to stuff so I can bring it to a wider audience. But I really suggest you watch this documentary. It's about an hour and a half, and it's De uh, Derek Bros, the 5G Trojan horse. And his, uh, the website where this is, is the conscience resistance dot com slash Trojan horse. This is his website for his independent uh, journalism. But I wanted to show this here. Because it's very lengthy, the transcripts and everything. The, the switch from 4G to 5G is a change unlike those of previous generations. One noticeable difference is that 5G technology uses much higher frequencies, ranging from 10 to 300 gigahertz, 5G is using millimeter waves which do not travel far and are easily blocked by trees, buildings, and walls. So one of the things that's in this documentary is this, this doctor I'm just learning about, Dr. Paul, 
did all these studies and that there are at least 15 different ways EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies, harm humans, including, and I know you can't really see this as detail, but I want to show it. It changes in brain structure and function, changes in various types of psychological responses and changes in behavior. At least eight different hormonal effects cardiac effects influencing the electoral control of the heart. That's scary. Chromosome breaks and other changes in chromosome structure. Historical changes in the testes. Oh, histological. Oh my goodness. Cell death. Lowered male fertility, including lowered sperm quality and function, and also lowered female fertility. This has been less studied, according to them. Cellular DNA damage, including single strand breaks and double strand breaks in cellular DNA. Nine, cancer, which is likely to involve these DNA changes, but also increased rates of tumor promotion like events. Cataract formation, breakdown of the blood brain barrier, melatonin depletion, and sleep disruption. How come they aren't screaming this from the mountaintops? Oh, that's right because these telecom companies and cell phone companies are rolling this out and don't care. They just want the money. They don't care about the long-term effects. And no one's gonna question it now because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we see stories like this. Google to release your location data to help fight coronavirus pandemic. This came out in CNN April 3rd. Right? That's weird. They're using a pandemic to gain more information on us. And I'm just getting into this Derek uh, Bros guy, but he's like really uncovering how the ruling class is just using this technology to control every aspect of us. We all, I mean, I have a smartphone. I have a smartphone. We're taking track. We know what the NSA can do with it. Scared about coronavirus? Well, we really need to track your movements. That'll help us. How is that going to, you know, what we need is testing. All I hear from every doctor and scientist about coronavirus, we need more testing. If we had accurate testing like they did in South Korea and Japan, we would have a better number of what was going on. I did, an, I did an interview with The Natural Progressive and she talked about the false negative test. There's a lot of false negatives. She has all the symptoms, but her test said negative. And because it said negative, she can't get, um, you know, basically uh, severance from her company because there's, her company has, you know, people that can't come to work because they have COVID, they can pay her salary, but she can't get a note from the doctor and the test said a thing and she can't get a hold of the doctor. So it's, but what we need is testing, right? I've heard about this new antibody test they're, they're working on where they'll test you to see people who had it and showed no symptoms, who were asymptomatic. So when your body or anybody's body gets attacked with, with any virus, but with the coronavirus, your body develops antibodies to fight it. And those antibodies are unique to coronavirus. So they see like, they'll do just, just basically from what I understand, they just prick your finger, take a little blood draw and go, oh, You've got, you've got the antibodies, so you must have had corona, which is good information. Like, maybe I had it in February. I was on the road a lot, shaking hands, meeting fans. I don't know. Maybe I had it, and because I'm healthy, I showed very little signs. But if, it would be helpful for me personally to know. And for the research, well, why did this guy at this age who's this healthy get it and not show signs, and this other person did? They need to crunch data. Every doctor and scientist that I'm watching on TV, that's all they're saying is we need more data. We need more data. We don't need your location through your goddamn cell phone. Oh, Google that works hand in glove with the CIA and has been since like 2010, 11, somewhere in there. Oh, really? That's how psychotic the ruling class is. Hey, there's a, there's a pandemic. How can we profit from it and how can we get more control? That's their first thought. The UN is asking for all wars to cease. What is America doing? Ramping up the sanctions on Iran and stuff like that, ramping up the war. That's what America does. So 
I'm going to keep talking about 5G because Faye's going to keep sending it to me and I suggest you go to this website, theconsciousresistance.com slash Trojan Horse and talk and learn more about 5G. Like, share, and subscribe. Watch the ads all the way through. A lot of great ways to support this show. There's obviously hitting the super chats during the live streams, which is great. There's going to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood, rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Right? There's, and the free ways to support the show are make sure you like, make sure you're subscribed, even if YouTube's unsubscribed, you share the videos like that. Watch the ads on YouTube all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Open up a separate browser window, have a separate device just running the ads. That's a great free way to support the show. Also, I put the audio from these clips on iTunes as an audio podcast, Political Vigilante Podcast. It's in the uh, news section. It's not in the comedy section. That's a great downloads. Those algorithms help the show, right? I have a Pandora comedy channel. Those are all great free ways to support what I'm doing. Shave your knuckles for justice. And thank you, Faye, for submitting this. Hey, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.